Hey, good morning. This is Blair Barnhart, Driving America for Better Roads. I'm standing on top of a piece of sandstone here in Arches National Park. And I'm out here to show America how to save money by using asphalt recycling, pavement preservation, and a solid proactive pavement management program. You're watching Driving America for Better Roads. Driving America for Better Roads. Come on! Driving, oh, oh driving. Driving America for a better road. Driving, driving, driving America. This is proven technology. Some states like Nevada have done this for the last 25 and 30 years and saved over $600 million alone using these methods of solid pavement management, pavement preservation, and in-place asphalt recycling. So let's go down here and get a look at, we'll continue the discussion we had previous week on crack filling, and I'll show you some good examples of crack filling, crack sealing, and I've got a little bonus for you as well talking about drainage in the desert. See you then. Today we've stopped at Arches National Park in Utah. This is a high desert climate. We're in the middle of God's country here. This is so gorgeous. I can't even begin to tell you what this is like being here in person. But I'm here for one reason. I'm inside this beautiful arch, sandstone arch. When I see arches, I think about rainbows. And when I think about rainbows, I think about opportunity. And I think America and the world is missing a huge opportunity by utilizing pavement management with solid in-place asphalt recycling techniques and pavement preservation programs that could save our roads from literally crumbling to pieces. Like right now, I'm in a place where these rocks are hundreds of millions of years old. And you know what? They're still here. These are durable rocks. They're holding up to the test of time. We crush these rocks up and take them out to our job site, put asphalt coatings on them, and ready mix concrete uh, goes in, makes roadways. And then guess what? Then we tear them all up again. All these beautiful little rocks that are hundreds of millions of years old, they have no idea why they're going back to the plant again to be recycled back at the plant when we could be recycling them on the job in place with hot in place recycling, cold in place recycling, and full depth reclamation. Here's the problem, people. It costs sometimes three times as much to mill everything up and haul it back to the plant. Not to mention user delay. I mean, if you're out here on the long weekend and you're trying to get to your destination and you've got four lanes of traffic down to one single lane because we've decided to overlay the highway, come on, people. We could go out there with a hot in place train, cold in place train, and we could literally do thousands of square yards in days. Days in place asphalt recycling. 30 to 40% less money, 65% less carbon footprint. I can't understand why we only recycle 3% of our roads in place. And we don't really understand the concept yet of pavement preservation. And yet, you know what? If my roof was leaking in the house, I'd be the first one to get new shingles, a new roof, a new window. Come on, people. We've got to do a better job. And the opportunity is there. The equipment is there. We've got qualified contractors. We've got many associations. Everything is in place and other countries are doing it. You know, back here in America, one state alone, Nevada DOT saved over $600 million over the last 25 years doing this. There's nothing to prove anymore. It works. Proven technology. Come on, people. Let's get it right.
be a gorge into the setting sun Cause we're driving America for better roads Driving America Driving America for better roads Come on! Driving All right, I said there'd be a little bonus activity here, so here it is. You know, drainage, drainage, drainage. Dr. Emery taught me about road building, the three most important things. Well, out here in the middle of the desert in Utah at Arches National Park, you know, we don't get that much rain, maybe two or three inches a year, but when it comes, it comes all at one time. So we get a quite a down uh, pour of monsoon rain here. So. We have to be able to deal with that rain when it gets here. Obviously, the ground is so dry and so hard that it's not really that absorptive. So this water has to get off of the roadway. And again, the road, great job with the crack ceiling. Notice that they even put crack ceiling along the concrete edge. But the reason I like this is because it serves two purposes. The speed limit here in the campground is 15 miles an hour. So this is actually acting as a reverse speed bump, if you will, or an inverted speed hump being that it's uh, down in the ground ready to shed the water through here. So this flume is running this way towards the camera. I'll give you the dimensions in case you decide to build one of these yourself. It's about 29 or 30 inches wide and it forms a nice little V here at three inches in depth. And again, the monsoon rains would come down through the desert, wash right through this flume and back out here into the other side of the roadway. So. Not a lot of fall here, just about 1 or 2 percent, but with concrete, you know, if we've got 1 percent drainage, we're doing okay. So great way to get rid of the water. Again, crack sealing, crack filling, really helping to preserve this pavement. And I know that the National Park Service is really doing a great job of pavement preservation as well, with Federal Highways really promoting that sustainability in place recycling, pavement preservation, and pavement management. Hey, this is Blair Barnhart here, driving America for better roads. Hope to see you at the next stop. Driving, yeah, yeah. Driving